Hello, everybody. Happy Friday to you. Uh, Bob and I are coming, are we, we're coming in hot. <laughs> um, and we are, we're going to be talking about rising, raising our frequency uh, to go above any challenge, to rise above any challenge. Right, Bob? Yes. Yes. So, uh, so let's, let's just, let's get at it. I'm going to let you, you take it away. You guys, as you guys are having questions, go ahead and say your questions. Um, also, I think I'm just a big fan of you guys calling out your miracles as they're happening. Um, go ahead and call out the miracles that you've been seeing, uh, in, you know, in your life, maybe since the last time that you saw us, whatever that is. I really love doing that because what that does is it creates a filter for us to always be looking for miracles. So, um, that's, and, and when you're looking for them, you're going to find what you're looking for friends. So, Amen. um, Bob, have at it brother. So, um, we, uh, my request to Martha today or whenever, I think it was today, just use no, was, was. I'm, you know, with all the stuff going on in the world right now, and I'm not going to give a lot of power to it, I, and I, I do choose to be really aware and conscious. So I've been at this for 52 years, and I was born the same year as Gary, by the way, so that's a really cool for me, you know, having, you know, this lifetime time stuff for me. And the I'm choosing to talk about what it takes to be above um, stress, disease, or whatever. How do we above it? So if we go, ooh, what do we do to protect ourselves from this booga booga? That's, uh, you know, yeah, maybe, but I'd rather, I'd like, especially all of us who have the blessing of what we've got in our world right now to really go at this thing differently. So it's been said, you know, the report of the, the physicians that are coming out, and I, uh, Marcella von Harding just shared a thing by a doctor just explaining everything. And if you watch that, I recommend everybody reverse it and see perfection versus just take the words that are being spoken. So lungs, if they're involved in anything, I'm just going to talk about body parts for a minute and bo sacred body language translation. Lungs are about inspiration. They bring in air, inspire. And so the counterfeit or the opposite, the challenge that may be to lung, besides whatever else in the world and all that other stuff, is despair and survival. So you figure where this is going on in China, as in, no judgment, just come on, let's wake up. You know, they haven't necessarily, I love Chinese people, so that's not at all what I'm saying. They have been oppressed in the past. They've been, you know, all kinds of stuff that it, I wouldn't want to go do that, even though I love China. So it's imperative, everyone, from right now on, no matter what else you're doing, I thrive. Mm -hmm. If everybody can just say, oh, I thrive, I love thriving, I'm inspired, I love inspiring my world. Because everything we're doing, that's what the oils all are about, is inspiration. And they're volatile. They're in the air. They, when we breathe them in, they're going right in to do something. Not to heal what's wrong. No, no, no. They're here to restore or raise or bring us up above that old pattern, any old pattern. So, and then there's the lungs and then the medulla is the brain center to the lungs. So the medulla brain stem is basically where we find uh, neurologically fight or flight sympathetic nervous system um, or ergotrophic it's called. And so if, uh, if anyone is over a period of time or if the marketing through media is about fight or flight, Obviously, that's not what we choose to have. So the medulla is the brain center to the lungs, which makes it fascinating. So I'm just choosing to give you some of the way this works. So the medulla in the structure of the eye and the map of the eye through bioopticalography, iridology, is it's the medulla in each eye is 180 to the bladder. So if you can imagine bladder is about survival, emotional survival, medulla is about survival. So the very fact that if lungs are involved, the counterfeit or the opposite, our greatest weakness shall be our greatest strength is our planet is attempting to bring us upscale into thriving, period. And we're the, we're the perfect place to do this, period. All right, so um, our medulla, it's either if we're in fight or flight, sympathetic nervous system, brain stem, got to, got to, have to, must, got to, got to need. Our medulla, when we reach parasympathetic, relax, is when we go to higher brain function. So everyone, I trust, I, re, I relax, I, I'm calm. So think about those things and breathing, how that changes. When we breathe deeply, we're in parasympathetic lungs. Viruses, as an example, are man-made 
uh, thought forms, basically. And so don't agree, only agree with your perfection, with the I am that I am, with that which is what that your highest state of truth, only agree with that. And then let's all, my outcome today with you, Martha, is to help everybody pop right up to a frequency above whatever else might be going on in the world or in anything else. So, yeah, so let's bring our vibration up to each one of our full enthusiasm. So enthusiasm, root word entheos, it means God in you, God in me. Whatever that word is for people, that's what it means. So, and, and, and then we'll just talk about how to do that. So right now, if you can all realize that the lungs are the last and, and the channel of elimination to work. They're the last one. At first it goes the bowel. If the bowel can't do the work, then kidneys and bladder try to do the work. If the kidneys and bladder can't do the work, then the skin tries to do the work. If the skin can't do the work, then the lungs try to do the work. So it's, you know, somebody comes in with skin, lungs, or bladder. I always go upstream and let's find out, well, let's get the body eliminating waste first. So if everyone can remember that, all right, to remain high frequency, get your pooper like your puppy. My just dog just pooped three times today. We just, before we came live, that's what Bob was, I'm so sorry, Bob. That's what, but you just led me right into it. I, my little Pomeranian, he just pooped outside and Mike and I were just like, man, he just, that's like the third time today that he pooped. And Bob's like, yes. <laughs> He was, he was channeling our, he was canining our, uh, our talk today. <laughs> yeah. So if, if everybody can realize it, if anything, lungs going on, any skin stuff going on, back up the chain. If kidney bladder is going on at all, please know, go back and get, just move, the, like let go, love what you feel and let go. How's that? And that's the, that's the pooper power. All get right. pooping, that's the pooper power. Yeah, I get like the pooper. That. Let Hashtag. it go. We, we got, you got to move it, move it. You, you got, got to move, move it. it. All, right. All right. And then <laughs> next is, <laughs> oh, oh, she's snorting. This is a good thing. Whenever someone's snorting, that means they're, they're bringing in more air than they were prepared to. That's what snorting is all about. I love it. So oh, next man. is, in whatever you hear that's going on in the world, keep your attention on what you love. Fear lowers the immunity, and, and love, trust, faith, courage, assuredness, confidence, raise it. So remember, I trust love, I trust love, I trust God, I trust, I just stay in the trust, trust. And, and it's subtle uh, in that, you know, the, the reports and the things that are going on, they're in, it's like there's a sidebar, there's a, like a virus, like a computer virus that you don't even see when we're talking about something low, can't so clear. So Always bring your attention to highest, and everybody, if you have God, whatever name you use that, that created you, whatever name it is that built you before you knew you were you, use that name in the most high frequency you can. Stay with it. That's what I can tell you. All right, and then trust, love, breathe, stay, feel, uh, confidence, courage, assuredness, raise us. They raise us. So if I just all day, I trust love, I trust love, I trust love, I trust my love, I trust my love, stay in that game. And then let's all, and this is part of what we'll uh, talk about, I'm just going to talk about the conception of it. Let's all partner with Mother Nature. So every time man creates another, <clears throat> nature builds something to handle. It's always like a balance, a yin-yang of it, that kind of stuff. So essential oils, pure essential oils from seed to seal, that's the only way I can approach it are volatile, which means they work in all the bodies. They take a negative spin and they flip it. They just flip it. It doesn't even have to get rid of the disease. No, there, it, there's unease, but it just brings ease. It lubricates where there was friction in the past. It lubricates and brings ease. That's what essential oils do. And essential oils are sunlight, through photosynthesis into the blood of the plant in a particular frequency to give us a blessing of the highest order. And the whole idea, I thank you, Gary Young, for keeping it so pure that, that we, you know, it's, it's not touched, so to speak, by the human sense. Gary was amazing at that, still is, and wherever he is. And so I'm asking all of us to realize that, all right, one a frequency, one ascent, like um, we're going to talk about thieves in a minute, but just the idea of thieves, just smelling thieves. I have a mustache. I can put a little thieves right there and all day long going, hello. And am I in the state of thieves, which means that, uh, in other words, uh, 
you've got clove, lemon, uh, cinnamon, eucalyptus, and rosemary. So, you know, they all have frequencies. Cinnamon, just one thing about cinnamon in my system, cinnamon defeats or anesthetizes ego and brings our spirit online. So for me, uh, in clove, we all know that that does something relative to uh, parasites and whatever, 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 whatever. But anyway, the point is, for me, when we use thieves, why does it work? Well, it works and all that, but, and it heals the black plague and all that. Well, let's go back to that for just a second. The black plague, the people in Europe at that time were eating lard, freaking, excuse me, pies. Not a lot of life force in lard pies. So, and if we see where this seemingly started, according to at least the reports that are coming out, that, that, you know, they were eating stuff that maybe they shouldn't be eating or eating it raw or whatever. So, bless everybody, but let us remember that just thieves alone, I, I prefer not to focus on that it kills all this stuff, you know, and bacteria, whatever, whatever, won't, won't grow in it. Oh, okay. Well, why won't it grow in it? Because it's a high frequency. And it's such a high frequency. If you can all get that, and it's a marriage made in heaven. It's like a seed of life, five frequencies that came together. Gary, thank you very much. God through Gary, because that's the only way I can really, really see it. And so you've got this thing called thieves. And what it does is if I keep myself, anything, any, any remedy, if we can keep us out of what it kills or gets rid of and just turn around and go, what does it restore? What does it bring to us? Then the whole idea of thieves for me is it keeps me above, right away, instantly above whatever was lower frequency. So this viral thing is a lower frequency. It can't touch spirit. You know, if God is for me, who could be against me? Now, another way to put it, even with all this, uh, the stock market stuff and all, all going on, <clears throat> there's a scriptural, not religion, a scriptural statement that says, all things work together for good for those who love God. So if you can do that, if it fits for you and your strategy, say all things work together for good for those who love God and I love God. I mean, add that in. So now the, I say, you know, this is a blessing. And if we can, and then think about all the folks in our world that might not know this stuff. And for me, I mean, I make sure I have enough for my whole community. I just make sure I have enough for my whole community, whether they're in my Young Living Essential Oils or not, I've got it right here. And, you know, if somebody goes, eh, there you go, you know, I've handed out, I don't know, probably 50 bottles of inner defense or oh, way more than that on thieves because, I just say that's the point. The point is let's be above. So um, I'm going to give a little bit more here. So essential oils are volatile and they work on all the bodies. Please get that. They're, you know, not just physical or it's all the body. They're volatile and they reverse. Again, they take a negative vortex and think about the negativity in the past that in the past was going on about this thing and it just flips it. Any essential oil will do that. Any essential oil. Dr. Ben, I'm sure, talks about, you know, whatever you got in your pocket, go at it, have at it. Yep. <laughs> and, and then everyone, if you can really focus on, stay above the fray and increase. Don't stay above so that you don't get something. Stay above and keep moving up. That's called our spiritual life. That's called, you know, love. That's called what it's about. So, um, anyway, that's that. My goal is is to to partner with what we've got here in such a way that we realize that all right, all right. I don't even need to even listen. Be aware, but don't reverse everything you hear. Please, everybody, reverse it. You know, like mm, replace it, replace it, replace it. Well, it's just so many people are no. Nope, don't do that. I recommend you make an agreement. Every one of us. I mean, what you've got ten thousand people probably involved in this particular group whatever the numbers are. What's that? Just about. Yeah. Yeah. Just so. So I'm going to say by this second, you probably do 10 to 200,000, <laughs> something like that. So every one of us, every one of us just make an agreement that the frequency, let's say of uh, thieves, the essential oils of thieves, the blend of these five things that raise above the egoic state of the human condition of despair, it raises everyone into confident, loving, thriving, period. Period. Man, you guys, this is good stuff. Is everybody getting this? I'm going to check out um, the comments real quick to see, to see what folks are saying. Um, Susan said, hello, I thrive. May I choose to absorb right now and write notes later, being present. Oh, great. Um, Susan, oh, cracking up over here. That was about poop. Um, 
May, <laughs> <laughs> I love my snorting. Uh, and such good information. May, feeling so much amazement just hearing all of this right now. Bailey, yes, it's all about the frequency. Thebes is my handout sample this winter is what Angie said. That's, uh, yeah, this, you guys, whenever, when you truly understand frequency for what it is and, and can almost visualize, it's hard, it, it's not hard, I guess, but when you can actually visualize what frequency does to things, you can see it in your own life, right? You can see it whenever there's, when you're, when you're lower vibe and then you choose a higher frequency or whenever you use an oil and then allow it to raise your frequency, um, you see, you see exactly what, what it actually does. And it's amazing. It's, it's amazing. And if there are, I mean, I'm not going to go into the data of it because I don't know the exact numbers, but I know that there is data out there that says that, um, that certain diseases, certain cancers, things like that live at a certain frequency and cannot live above that frequency. Right. Um, and that's sort of that, that that's a bit of what we're saying, but, um, that's not, you know, we're, that's all I'm saying there. Okay. So, uh, First of all, I love that you said about the cinnamon and ego thing. I didn't know that before. So I love that very much. So whenever mm. you're cleaning your house with thieves, <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're, you're doing some, some ego balancing, right? <laughs> is, that, Amen. Is, that, is that what's going on there? And the things that I would suggest, so whenever Bob and I talked uh, briefly earlier today about what we were going to talk about, uh, he was suggesting that I bring in some different products that I would suggest uh, to also be able to help support our systems, right? So again, we're not alleviating anything. We are not, we're not uh, healing things. What we're doing is we're supporting our bodies and you guys, our bodies are amazing and know what to do what we're doing is we're supporting them. Okay. So, um, the things that I am using heavily in my own family right now, and we're not really even thinking about any, you know, sort of fear stuff that's happening on TV. Like I see it. And I, I mean, we just took a flight, you know, we took two flights down to Texas last week, two flights back. And we weren't, you know, we weren't all concerned about things. Okay. Um, what we're doing in my family is we drink the juice. We drink a lot of the juice, you guys. That's a bunch of nutrients, okay? That's, I mean, if, if that's the only thing that you need to know about it, it's a bunch of nutrients that are going to support your body. Bunch of plant-based nutrients that are nothing but source energy that are, that are coming through. Bob says it really, Bob says it the best. Whenever, say that thing that you say about how the oils, like the, the blood of the plant and stuff. Can you yeah, so, so we have sunlight and then the plant through photosynthesis produces and builds that sunlight. It, it grows in the form of sunlight through photosynthesis and it becomes the blood of the plant, which is what's distilled. And that's what we have in these bottles or, or supplements or caps or whatever. Yes, that's you guys. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, the other thing, so juice is on my list, is on my checklist of the thing that I don't ever run out of ever in life. Um, we all drink at least two ounces a day. I drink about six. That's just mine. That's what I prefer. Um, another thing that we're not going without right now is inner defense. Uh, if you have little ones that can't take pills, what I would do is I would cut open a capsule diluted in some fractionated coconut oil or some sort of carrier oil, rub it along their spine because that's, uh, that's where that sort of thing, just rub it on their spine or on their feet and then throw mm -hmm. some socks on, whatever you want to do, either way. Um, your feet, your feet, <laughs> your feet have the, <laughs> have the, have the biggest pores on your body. Okay. So like, so, so far as being able to bring them in. Um, uh, so juice, inner defense, um, thieves, obviously we already talked about thieves. That's just an everyday thing for my family anyway. Thieves, 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 always. Um, another thing for us is oregano. Um, oregano, it's, it's like a hotter oil. You're not necessarily going to want to drink it unless you're a super duper trooper, <laughs> but, um, 
but that's another thing you can just rub along your spine. You can uh, put on your feet. That's a dilute it. Make sure that it's diluted. Um, that's another thing that's going to be a way to support your system. Uh, another thing is any sort of oil that you inhale and feels like where it just blows your lungs, like it fills your lungs up. Um, for me, those, those would be like a peppermint or a eucalyptus or a raven or an RC or something like that. Those are the ones for me that are just like, and that's, that's going to obviously help support what you feel it supporting. I mean, that's, that, that's how that goes. Um, two things that are not with Young Living that, that are also on our, our, in our toolbox, I guess is what I'll say. Colloidal silver is something that, that we use to support our bodies and then also elderberry, you guys. So um, those things, that is what, that's what we use to support, to support our family in order to just maintain our health uh, and, and let our bodies do what they're supposed to do. We just support our bodies in doing what they're already magnificently created to do, right? It's just, it, we live in an environment that uh, is what it is. And if we can support our bodies, that's what we want to do. And that's, that's how we do it. So what you got, Bob? Um, I'm going to add mineral essence. We use a, um, yeah. we have a little bit different version of that, but mineral essence is awesome. We have a, a liquid, uh, we call it bio liquid light, a little bit different type of mineral. It's bigger bottle, much more in it. Uh, and all, all the minerals, basically anything, the calciums, et cetera, any of the building blocks help alkalize. They do all that stuff. Um, now alkaline, that's another really great thing to remember that, a, a, the, an acidic state is a, is a, not a relaxed state. And so, the, you know, and so if, and I'm just going to add for me, when we do our lifestyle health stuff. And then we add certain phrases to it, which I'm gonna, I, may, I wrote a few down that I love. One is only love touches me. Only love touches me. Only love touches me. And then I am invisible, invincible, and invulnerable to all human creation. I'm invisible, invincible, and invulnerable to all human creation. And then I am my permanent victorious health and wealth. I am my permanent victorious health and wealth and health and wealth are the same thing. They're always health and wealth are exactly the, they're, they're like yin and yang of the same energy package. So you, you if you have health, you have wealth in whatever form that is. Um, the one thing about the word health, H E A L heal, th, th is T H is the means God. So when we say health, it's heal God, heal God. And it's, it's really cool, the word, you know, anyway, it's like shoulder. When I figured out that S-H-O-U-L-D, should, and then shoulder is, it should be shoulder. <laughs> but anyway, so, I mean, if we're carrying burdens, they're on the shoulder because it's fascinating you to get wow. in to the, the, uh, the frequency, especially the, the fun edicts of language is really wild. So next be a positive charge at all times. That's all you have to do. And to do that, for me, I vote permanent victory. Like I am my own permanent victory in the light. I am your. If I hear about anything, if I remember, if I'm on, I'm voting victory. I'm seeing perfection. I'm reversing it. You know, I'm, I'm just imagining a miracle in its place. Um, let the weak man say, I am strong. We are our brothers and sisters keepers, that kind of stuff. So, again, vote permanent victory in all you see in all you hear and all you feel and all you remember and all you touch vote permanent victory. And the I am is the strongest statement. Yeah. You know, I am as I God am action. I am is a done deal. It's not a toward it's a fact. And then raise every experience that you have in gratitude up into the heart in your heart and up into your creator, whatever that is for you, which is in and above you. So bring everything into through appreciation into love. In other words, to get hooked into something lower, we have to judge, condemn, criticize, shame, blame, or guilt it. So if we just forgive it, why ya, and then send it on, you know, my little why ya story. So, uh, and then my final one, my, my most favorite, especially when anything's going on, God is the only presence and power acting here. 
God is the only presence, and people have to use their words, I'm using mine. Uh -huh. God is the only presence and power acting in, through, and around me. God is the only presence and power acting in, through, and around my family. God is the only presence and power acting in, through, and around my home. God is the only presence and power acting in, through, and around my community. God, and these are examples, God is the only yeah. presence and power acting in, through, and around my nation. God is the only presence and power acting in, through, and around Mother Earth. So, in other words, the only presence and power, what we've done is, if God is for me, who could be against me? I mean, think about that, everyone. So, yeah. what I've learned in, in my studies, I did a whole bunch of material on this, is that if I am aware of a force in opposition to what I choose, I can't have what I choose because I've got a split screen. So an enzyme is a unipole. An enzyme, by the way, I would highly recommend enzymes for high frequency. Yes. They're the deal. So an enzyme, it doesn't have a, a pole, like it doesn't have positive and negative. It has one pole and it's life. And so, you know, if I can get to one pole of B, in uh, as positive as steel, so to speak. Wow, that's the whole point. Is now all these nutrients are lubricating, not just taking me away from the problem. They're bringing me into a state of strength or grace, which is where I can live all day long and ignite grace everywhere I go. Period. Yeah. Oh my word. Is everybody getting this? Is everybody getting all of this? I wrote down so many statements. Um, one of those statements that I wrote down that you just said that just hit me square in the forehead was uh, imagine a miracle in its place. So when you see something less than, when you, when you experience something less than, whatever, imagine a miracle in its place. It's so, it's, let's, can, let's be candid for a second. Um, I mean, we always are, but let's, I, I'm gonna talk about something. When people, okay, how am I gonna say this? A lot of us have been conditioned via society, have been conditioned or how, you know, been conditioned that to complain about things or to, to see things to then complain about or to, that's how we make conversation with people is by little, just tiny little like, oh, well, man. You know, like it's just kind of this mucky muck stuff. And it's like what, what people talk about. And it's, there's like, I always assume positive intent. They don't mean to talk about that. It's all they know, right? Like it's, that that's what they think. Um, but whenever we imagine miracles in that place, because I even find myself whenever people do that, it's, it's very easy to be drawn into that even for the moment. But what what i will be doing from this moment forward i always try to pull myself out of it and even saying the sentence try to pull myself out of it feels like a lot right but moving forward from this moment forward i will be imagining a miracle in its place i will be imagining the good side of what of what the conversation is i will bring out the gold i will bring out whatever is shimmery in that conversation and make it different so it's that do you have any feedback on that, Bob? That's just something that. Uh, well, like first we of all, I love that. I mean, that's, that's goal right there, you know, to replace it. So I'm going to say a couple things, a limited belief system, anything lower vibration is it's an illusion because it's not of God. It's, it's built by God, but it's not agreed to, so to speak. It's by human will or whatever. So a limited belief system needs us to talk about it, to agree with it, to judge it, condemn it for that thought form to exist. It needs mm -hmm. us to fear it. So mm -hmm. if, if, I mean, I mean, think about that. A limited energy package that doesn't have any life force of its own has mm -hmm. to be fed like a parasite, exactly like a virus, a parasite. Mm -hmm. So... For me, I prefer to just let that parasite or virus die from lack of attention, and I can even speed that up by replacing it. I can simply put a miracle in its place, and that gets me like, well, yeah, well, yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> in the sense of, I mean, truly, that's the fastest way to move up scale is to just notice, ooh, what would I like to have in this place? What would, ooh, what would be a blessing here? Oh, what will, you know, so, and, and then all of a sudden people that come to me, let's say, with challenges, problems, and whatever, 
I might not even say a word to them that I'm doing this, but I replace it right then and there, not really for them. I replace it in me where I'm connected to them. Mm -hmm. And if I feel how I feel now that a miracle has happened seemingly for them, they get it much quicker because I gave it to me where we're one. So yeah. right on, the replace it, put a miracle in its place. Awesome. This is kind of like the Beatitudes in, in Scripture. I like the be attitudes. I think that's pretty funny. That it's just be, have an attitude of being, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Um, uh, Nancy, love the statements, just don't understand invisible to human creation. Do you want to break that one down for Sure, her? sure. I uh, will break it down. So it's just a decree I learned from this little I Am Discourses book. And so if I'm invisible to human creation, they, it can't see me. I like that. Yeah. If I'm invincible, that means I'm all powerful, victorious. How's that? If I'm invulnerable, even though I don't like the in and not, in and not are the same thing. And still, I like to say that, you know, I'm in, I like invincible, but it's still uh, invisible means not visible. I kind of like that, but also. So how about I am victorious in every situation? Really is what it's about. And there's only one true state that's victorious, and that's spirit, pure spirit, pure light. So. You know, if it does, if that doesn't click for somebody because it's mental, they don't understand the word for me. I played with the word a long time. So, and I, I'm most likely way, way back 50 years ago when I first started this, I most likely had to get like, Ooh, invincible, invisible, invisible. but I really like being that the illusion can't even freaking see me. I love that. Yeah. And I mean, I love it. And, and I'll, I'll share this one story about that. I remember when I first started, I, used, I was such a shy kid. I mean, you know, young adult phobic to speak in public. And I would start to travel and do classes. So I, I'd be in the back of the plane because, you know, that's the one I could afford back there. And I'd be in the back of the plane and I, I would just be terrified. And so uh, this happened over and over again. A drunk from a sports whatever got in the plane at the beginning, in front of the plane, and I'd be going, oh my God, don't sit with me. Oh my God, don't come back here. Which I'm saying, oh my God, come back here. <laughs> oh, come back here because I don't want you to come back here. So, I mean, his seat was probably row 15, but I'm back in 34. And he, oh, sorry, buddy, and sits right next to me because I resisted him. Yes. So, you know, I love the idea that I can speed up, that I just notice things. I don't have to engage them. So that's what I mean by that invisible, invincible, and invulnerable. It just means I'm going to rise above the frequency where I don't even have to dance with it at all. If I don't feed it, then, wow. And if I replace it, like put a miracle in its place, then I've done my job. Yeah. I've done my spiritual responsibility. So hopefully that helps. Thank you for saying your spiritual responsibility. That's that. So I, I just... I'm not even going to add anything to that, but that's, then we're doing our job, our spiritual responsibility. I'm not even, I don't need to add anything to that. Let it simmer if you want to. Um, uh, Nancy said, thank you. Let me see. <laughs> ba, ba, ba. She said, just starting enzymes. This was about the conversation a little before I put mineral essence in my shake. So happy to hear this. Boom. Um, Yes. Uh, Rachel, the I am invincible statement. Can you break that one down? And that's what we just did. Okay. And Rachel, hopefully that was helpful. Let us know if it was. Um, and then Lisa was responding to Susan. She was asking more about frequency stuff. Lisa responded and let her know that the, um, the EODR book actually has a section on frequency. Yeah. And that's also, really good. Yeah. That's, uh, there's that, there's also like any sort of I mean, just, you can, you can look up a lot of frequency stuff and just, and learn about it. Um, there's a lot of aromatherapy stuff that'll teach you about the frequencies of what, what different things do also. Um, not that you need to become an aromatherapist by any means, but that's where that is. Um, Jenny said, uh, spiritual responsibility. Amazing. Love it. Thank you. Yes. Yes. That's fantastic. Well, sir, what else, what else we got? I just say let's and if everybody please can imagine the way I do it is ultraviolet light if you can imagine ultraviolet light where in in restaurants etc they've got these lights on the wall usually and they emit ultraviolet light ultraviolet light um, it's just light but it viruses mold whatever it can't live in that 
and it's a higher frequency. Mm. So imagine we've got all these oils. So let's add in just miraculously that all of us agree that the earth now, I'm going to use angels to do this, that like ultraviolet light angels are blazing like a wave of light, you know, across the earth, consuming all shadows, all concern, all fear, all doubt, all error, and forgiving it all and replacing it all in this ultraviolet light. Just imagine mm -hmm. that. And every time you think of any country, any, any group, any, our mother earth, all the, everyone that you can think of, just pop a little, you know, violet light or ultraviolet light in. And the idea of it is it's uh, like in our visible light spectrum, it's the highest one. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the highest frequency. So it's been said that violet light purifies, which it does, and it replaces with what it's meant to be. Like, let the weak man say, I am strong. And it replaces it, it's been said. I just like this, so I'm going to share it. It replaces it without retribution. Hmm. I love that. I, I mean, that's <laughs> grace to me. When I'm yes. in grace, I didn't earn it. Yeah. I just gifted it. And so each one of us, that for me, what Young Living Essential Oils are for me is grace. I'm going to end. I'm going to use it in a bottle. Uh -huh. And it's very specific grace. So one thing I can add is one of the ways to find out what are the best oils for you to use to stay high frequency is whatever you love. Mm. And love is our source code. What we love is our source code. So if you go, well, this is pretty good. This one, wow, use that one because it amplifies love. So that's what yeah. I've got. Oh, man, I love that. I love that so much. And the purple light, like as you were doing it, I was totally visualizing and got the massive goosebumps. And if anybody knows anything about violet flame or anything, if you want to go down the rabbit hole, there's all sorts of interesting concepts in there, right? Like, uh, yes. and sacred geometry we could go into that is uh, um, associated with that. This is good stuff, you guys. And it's so, for those of you that, that haven't been down that rabbit hole yet, it's so, he's putting together massive concepts in a very digestible form, you guys. These are concepts you could spend hours and hours and hours and hours, you know, sort of like digging into and, and maybe you still want to, and that's fantastic. We all have our, like our geek moments, right? Like where we want to do that. He's putting that into a digestible form for you to just like, he's done that. He's done, he's done that stuff. And, and so now you can just uh, kind of take it and make it yours. Um, I love it. Um, that Jenny said, Goosey's everywhere. You're the best. Uh, Rachel, I follow now. Thanks so much for breaking it down. I appreciate it. Awesome. Rachel, what we love is our source code. Yes. Angie, I am loving this. You, man. Awesome. Awesome. Well, um, Susan said it's the best stuff. It certainly is. Uh, let's see. So you've got some facilitator training stuff that you're doing right now. Isn't that right? Yes. Yeah. We finally, it's a brand new, we call it the kahuna. <laughs> Ooh. And, but what it is, is I, I put together like my dream. I'll share my vision just because I love sharing my vision. So I've got a way, I'm not I little self, just I'm a steward of a system where we just sit with somebody or work with somebody on the whatever. And we can find through their words, their body language, their life situation, a pattern. We can reveal that to them and ask a couple questions instead of here's what's wrong and here's what you need to do to be better. Uh -uh. We just find, in other words, every, every signal the body will give will be the strength returning versus what's wrong. It'll be the grace returning. And so uh, we've got a package of All For You, which is where I start everybody. And then Sacred Body Language Translation Facilitator is in this um, uh, facilitator mentoring program. Bio-optic holography, which is able to read thought, word, and emotional patterns from the iris, clear, and people of the eye. Facilitator program. Life upgrade coaching, which is fine. I mean, it's the simple. All these codes go together to be able to go breath or oop, word or it's just it's so much faster. Usually when I demonstrate this in a high end class, somebody wouldn't, will sit down. They might not even sit down yet. And I say, I got it. They will have, re and everybody can get it. 
they will have revealed exactly what the error is and what's returning, even before they speak sometimes, and definitely in the first three words. And so I don't have to hear the whole story at all. I go, well, we got this, this, this. And they're going, <laughs> yes, so how'd you know that? <laughs> and then it's not a judgment. It's just, well, here's is this. And we just walk them up scale through the open door into their victorious life. So in addition, and with that, I've got this game called Voice Your Choice. And it's a visual game with these colored cards that you play with your team that will really help everyone embody conscious language quickly. All of this is put in a package, and then I added uh, two more MP3s of different all, f all for use, one more full video series of a different uh, advanced um, sacred body language translation, one more bio-optic holography advanced facilitator video training, and one more all, all of these, when I give one, then I give my next one at the next octave, then the next one. So, and one more uh, life upgrade coaching uh, video package. All of those now are in a package that people can get through the uh, March 8th. And you can go to my website. Um, you, you can, we'll send you the link and you can send it to everybody. And you have the link. It was sent to you already through the affiliate, oh. just so you know. But I know. So, so I'll make sure you get it again. I know I'm with you. It's like, what? Hello? How's that? 4,000 emails today. And especially you. You probably have like, yeah. So uh, just if anybody's interested, we're going to start uh, mid-March. We're going to start where people study, and then I work with them. People study some more. And the trick is we may be giving this and helping others. So my vision is somebody's in every community so that it's easy. People just walk forward with ease and grace. And, and to me, my perfect community is anyone working with Young Living because, I mean, it we know why. I don't need to say why. And think, I mean, think about the plant kingdom. Instead of even talking about oils for helping what's wrong, just figure out, oh, what's, oh, what's it restoring? What's it restoring? So kind of the compliance thing is like, well, you know, I'm restoring this, I'm restoring that. And that's the same with the coaching. It's not, here's what's wrong. We got to deal with it. It's, oh, here's your signal. And our greatest weakness shall be our greatest strength. That's what I've surf on. And let the weak man say, I am strong. That's another one of my surfboards. So anybody, if you're the one, I'll just share with everybody. If you're the one in your community, uh, I will get a link to Martha right away. And then, you know, you'll Again. follow. Yeah, I, well, it's, uh, it's all good. I'm the same way. It's like, oh, you did? I'll, I have like 15 email addresses. So it's like, okay, right. then, you know, <laughs> okay, then. Uh, could you please just tell me over the phone? Anyway, so, so and, and uh, I'm just letting everyone know, it's like, you're the ones, you're my best option, each of you, because you're already involved in the highest frequency I'm aware of on the planet. So, Yes. Amen to that. Amen to that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to let you, we're just dropping the mic on that. <laughs> um, everybody have an awesome week. We will see you. Are we going to do this next week? Your oh. choice. Your choice. I'll be in Calgary. It'll be from a hotel in Calgary and I'm totally down. So we'll talk. Let's do it. All right. We'll talk. We'll talk. We'll okay. Talk. Awesome. Everybody have an awesome night. We will see you next week. <laughs> see you later, everybody. Bye-bye.